Okay, kiddos, so my computer's been acting crazy, so this is actually kind of backing up a day. So if the videos you watch tomorrow sound like they're an intro introduction for the week, then that's why I'm, um, I don't know, I couldn't get things situated this morning. So we are switching gears into DNA. So you did the Punnett Squares last week, and I know I maybe put the cart before the horse, but I think that being able to see the probability and seeing those traits like black fur, white fur, um, different colored eyes, all those sorts of things, where does all that come from? Where do we get these traits? Where do we get these genes? Why do we have dominant genes? Why do we have some that show up and some don't and some hide? You know, where are they hiding? So they're hiding in your DNA. All right, so this week I've actually pulled this chapter because remember I said at the beginning of the year that you might be getting parts and pieces from both textbooks because the blue textbook and the green book are a little bit different, but they hold like the way we configure our standards and do things, we don't really go by a textbook. Like we don't start at chapter one. I mean, we did this year just to get things started, but, and then go through like one, two, three, four, five. Like we um, group our standards based on what they are and what you're gonna learn, okay? So we're gonna um, jump into DNA. So what we're gonna work on first this week is just read through this chapter. It is six pages, not hard at all. Um, and the, the PowerPoint that I go over tomorrow is going to be very similar um, to the chapter. Okay, so today's chapter is just you guys reading and getting um, things together. So if you get stuck in here, go ahead and move on to tomorrow's pick, um, video and the PowerPoint that I'm going to go through. Okay, um, so this kind of talks about copying. I'm not too worried about you guys knowing about copying right now. We're going to talk about that when we move into meiosis and mitosis. Um, what I am more concerned with you guys knowing are these genes um, and what they code for and what um, how they get onto those chromosomes. And then those chromosomes, once again, are what we look at in our Punnett square and the genes that they are connected to right there, okay? So RNA is also in here um, and looking at how those codes and how they break apart and and this is just kind of I'm not going to dig too deep into this um, when I get into that PowerPoint all that I'm kind of looking at is uh, the DNA and the codes and the genes okay but in order for you to have that background information for when we do move on I do need you to make sure that you read through these and then your first assignment is going through those um, questions okay I only want you to do um, all right um, I only want you to do one two and three okay and I'll put that on your handout for tomorrow okay I only want you to do one two and three um, all right so once you read through this, describe how DNA makes a copy of itself, explain how the codes for proteins are carried from the nucleus to the ribosomes. Um, a strand of DNA has bases A, C, T, A, A, C. Using the letters show what the matching A um, strand would be, okay? So like I said, this is kind of preliminary information, reading on your own, seeing what you get. Tomorrow is when I go through the PowerPoint and kind of give you a little bit of a review questions on that and some uh, work there okay so um, go through that if you get stuck here in the reading go through that and and work through that okay so today's kind of the reading day kind of the learning day all right so what I want you to look at so once you finish those and finish those three now don't panic on how much this is because these are two reading assignments and they're just they're due by Friday okay so I don't want you to panic. You can read them at any time and do these assignments this week in any order. Um, all right, so this is our chromosome genes and proteins. So once again, another reading um, that we're gonna have here. Um, what I would suggest that you do is go through and highlight, okay? Highlight those passages, highlight what um, is important okay if you have um, someone that could possibly read this to you um, I don't I don't know if you want a whole video of me just reading this um, ok 
Okay, if you do need me to read this to you, if you're getting this video and you need me to read this to you, then you call me, okay? You call me and we will sit down and we will read this together, okay? I have it with me at all times and we will read this together, okay? So if you need me to read the chapter to you, if you need me to read um, any of these, okay, pieces to you with um, the reading day, that we're going to have today. And I'm not giving you vocabulary because the vocabulary that we had last week had this stuff on it. Okay. So I'm not going to give you um, a new vocabulary list. Okay. We're just reading and going through these activities today. Okay. So make sure that you complete the questions. Okay. You have six multiple choice questions. Okay. Make sure you go through those and answer those questions, okay? All right, if you need me or you need help with anything, this is just day one. Like I said, don't panic, and we will get everything completed. Okay, thanks, guys.